Hi everyone, welcome back to Tech Travers. Today's video is going to be a short one, but an important one. Especially for those of you who picked up the newly released Analog 3D and were disappointed to find out that your EverDrive 64 X series cartridges didn't work right out of the box. You weren't alone, the community immediately started testing everything under the sun, but for a while it honestly looked like we were out of luck. But good news, Crix is already back with a firmware update that fixes the issues and gets the EverDrive X series fully working on the Analog 3D. There's one catch though, you can't update the cartridge using the Analog 3D itself. You actually need an original Nintendo 64 console to apply the update. There's no workaround at the moment. Now realistically, if you own an EverDrive 64 cartridge, there's a pretty good chance that you also own an actual N64. So this might not be as big of a problem as it sounds, but still it's something you need to know. In this quick video I'm going to show you exactly how to update your EverDrive X series and get it working properly with the Analog 3D, step by step. Now let's jump into it. Before we start there's one more thing I forgot to mention in the intro, you also need a computer for this or even a phone if you prefer, as long as you can access the micro SD card from your EverDrive and move files onto it. So step one is very simple, go to the first link in the video description labeled EverDrive firmware and download the latest version onto your computer. As of recording this video that's version 3.10. Next, go to the second link in the description labeled EverDrive boot ROM and download the B64 file from there. And once you have both files, remove the micro SD card from your EverDrive and connect it into your computer so we can transfer everything over. Start by extracting the ED64 folder from the OS zip archive and place it directly on the root of your micro SD card. That folder contains the actual firmware files and copying it over will update the EverDrive to the version you just downloaded. If your computer asks whether you want to replace existing files, just choose replace all. Next, take the boot rom.b64 file and put it anywhere on your micro SD card. It doesn't matter where it goes, I'm placing mine inside the ED64 folder just to keep things tidy, but you can put it anywhere you want. And once you have done that, you can just unmount your SD card from your computer and put it back in your EverDrive 64. Insert the cartridge into your original Nintendo 64 and power it on. You will now be greeted with a message saying that the settings have been reset to default and to press any key. Go ahead and do that and you'll be taken straight into EverDrive's main menu. From here press Z on your N64 controller to open the EverDrive settings menu. Scroll down and select system folder. This will open the ED64 directory where we placed the boot ROM file earlier. Find the B64 file, select it and then choose install bootloader. Then press start to begin the installation. The update only takes about 10 seconds and once it's finished, your EverDrive X series is fully updated and ready to use on the Analog 3D. And there you have it, your EverDrive X series is now fully patched and ready to use with your brand new Analog 3D. I hope this quick tutorial was helpful and if it was, feel free to leave a like or drop a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more tips, tricks and other tech goodness here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.